What's up, gang? Circa here for Full Stack Creative, and it's Friday, which means it's time for another tiny toot. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you five Chrome extensions that make my life a whole lot easier and are going to supercharge your marketing or design workflow in Chrome. So if you're not a Chrome user, you better jump on the bandwagon right now because I'm about to show you just how awesome Chrome extensions can be. Ooh, how much they can make your life just so much easier. So let's roll that intro and dive right in. And start sending to them on that basis. In MailChimp, when starting any email, you can choose .facebook.com, go into the top left and select audiences. If you don't see So if you're any kind of creator, whether you run a YouTube channel or a music career or an online t-shirt brand, if you're anything like me, you probably have 50 Chrome tabs open across two screens. And if you click on that Chrome icon in your apps bar, you probably have like three more windows that are all the same story. I'm some kind of like digital hoarder. I just can't click off a website. I know I'm gonna need to use it again in a second. And when you are uploading and editing and creating and writing all day long, it can get very, very tiresome, especially when it comes to text and code. I can't tell you how many countless hours I wasted trying to copy something from one tab and then go back over to this other tab and paste it into a new upload and, and then I'm editing CSS on a web page and then eventually I just lose sight of what's on my clipboard. If you are copying and pasting stuff all day long, then you probably need a little bit more robust clipboard than just the, the one default memory setting. Wouldn't it be awesome if you had a clipboard that remembered everything you've copied ever? And showed it to you in chronological order so that you never lose something that you copied to your clipboard. You can always copy it back and paste it. Well, welcome to Clipboard History. Clipboard History is a free and very simple to use Chrome extension that basically takes note of anything you copy into the clipboard while you're using Chrome. It displays all your recently copied text in a chronological order. You can mark anything you've copied as a favorite and give it a name. You can even upload your clipboarded text text to the cloud, which I don't use, but pretty badass. And here in the favorites tab, you can see anything that you've favorited. So if you constantly have to copy the last description from the last thing you uploaded and then paste it into the new thing you're uploading and change the copy a little bit, just save it as a favorite and you never have to worry about it again. This is especially helpful for our website where I'm adding pretty much the same CSS to every single page I have to create. So if you need to remember hex code codes or lyrics or descriptions for YouTube videos or CSS or HTML, then you definitely need clipboard history. Moving on. If you need to create web pages or graphics frequently, then you probably know about hex codes. Hex codes are six digit alphanumeric codes that basically correspond to a different color in the available color spectrum of the technology you're working in. And keeping sight of hex codes can be a problem. We have entire cards in our assignment on a task management board dedicated to just the different hex codes that we use on a daily basis for our company. And if you're a designer, you frequently want to pull hex codes from the internet. That's where an eyedropper tool can really come in handy. Now, if you use Photoshop, you know that you can go to your color panel, select it, and then click that little eyedropper icon. And then you can click anywhere in the image you're editing and get that exact colors hex code. But if you're on the internet, you don't have that eyedropper tool and you don't want to have to open up Photoshop and do all the stuff you got to do in order to use it universally across your computer. So one of my most frequently used Chrome extensions is Color Pick Eyedropper. By clicking this little color wheel in my Chrome extensions bar, I basically get a little target, which I can then use to click any element on a website that I'm visiting and boom, it spits out the hex code for me. Seems like a small thing, but trust me, if you're a designer or you make web pages frequently, it saves a lot of time. And it just makes you tear your hair out less. Okay, two down, three to go, moving on. The next thing that I'd like to tell you about that can, ooh, it can save your life is LastPass. If you don't know what LastPass is, it's basically a password manager for your Chrome browser. It's actually an app which you can download to your phone and your desktop computer, your laptop.
laptop or wherever, but it has a Chrome extension and I don't use it anywhere but the Chrome extension. So what LastPass does is it remembers all of your passwords so that you don't have to, but it's more than that. LastPass also encrypts all of those passwords so it's super secure and when you're filling out a form on a website to create a new account and you come to that password field, I know, I know the urge is there. I'll just type in what I use for everything else and you know, if I get hacked, whatever, I'm not gonna get hacked. And that is super unsafe. You can get hacked, you will get hacked. Furthermore, when you put your password into some other company that you use for everything else and then that company gets hacked, guess what? The password you use for everything is now out there on the dark web waiting to be plucked and used to steal your identity or kidnap your family or send you off to Abu Dhabi. I mean, terrible things can happen here. So what LastPass does is when you're filling out that form and you do come to that create password field, you can generate a random password, one that is assuredly way, way more secure than the one you were going to use and a lot easier to remember since LastPass will remember it for you. Now this is useful for everybody, but especially if you're running any kind of agency where you frequently have to log into other people's accounts. We don't store our clients' account information. LastPass does. And then we can share that across the entire team. We can remove permissions to access that information from team members if they should take their pants off during a workday and get fired. LastPass can also remember payment information and it's just a generally all around badass tool. Super secure, way more secure than probably what you're already doing, and it can save you a lot of headaches. Usually when things make things more secure, it's more of a headache. Here you're getting security and ease of use all in the same little Chrome extension. We have the paid version, but the free version is also Aces. The next one that I use almost religiously is the emoji extension. This emoji Chrome extension allows me to access all types of emojis, which are all searchable anywhere that I am. And I know what you're maybe thinking. Oh, Circa, emojis are available with hotkeys and shortcuts in Windows and Mac. Why would you use a Chrome extension? And I don't have a good answer for you. I just know that I like to have a searchable emoji panel here in my browser whenever I need it. For some reason, it's just easier for me and, and it works, you know? It's, it's easier for me than using the native emoji panel for Windows or Mac. Speeds up my workflow. I'm not opening another program. I'm, I'm right here in the same framework accessing all of those emojis, which if you're marketing or you're uploading or you're communicating with fans, definitely helpful. And now we've saved the best for last. If you are marketing at all, and if you're a creator, you should be marketing yourself, then you need to know about the Facebook Pixel. I may be preaching to the choir, you might already use the Facebook Pixel and have standard events installed for everything on your website, but ultimately the Facebook Pixel is a small snippet of code that you install on your website in the header so that when people visit your website who are also Facebook users, Facebook says, hey, that's Greg. He just visited your checkout page, but he didn't check out. You might want to run an ad to him to remind him to check out. Now, Facebook Pixel does way, way more than that, but that's just like a basic explanation of what it can do. Which brings me to Facebook Pixel Helper. Facebook Pixel Helper is a Chrome extension that you can install, and when you visit any website that has a pixel on it, it will show not only the pixel information, but what conversions are registering. So you know that the pixel is firing because you just purchased something, or or it's saying that you initiated a checkout. So you can ensure that the pixel you've installed and the standard events like purchase, lead, initiate, checkout, view content, you know when these standard events are firing, which is really important if you're using the pixel on your website. Now, furthermore, if you're any kind of agency where you handle marketing for other people, this is a great lead research tool. Here at the agency, when someone shows interest in our services, one of the first things we do is go poke around their website and see if they have the pixel installed, which will tell us what kind of data we probably have to play with and leverage, or if we need to spend an entire two weeks at the beginning of the client's account getting their pixel robustly installed across their website. So if you use Facebook advertising, if you market, if you work with people who market or for people who market, Pixel Helper will 
up your game 100%. Okay, so these are the five Chrome extensions I use religiously every single day, and they make me just a faster, more capable online creative and entrepreneur and marketer. But they're not the only Chrome extensions, and for every person, the five that you use most, it's gonna be different. So what I'd love for you to do is let me know in the comments what Chrome extensions save you all the time in the world. Tell me what you use, why you use it, and how much time it saves you. I'd love to know and, and add it to my stack. And as always, please like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you wanna get more tutorials, gear reviews, and just general entrepreneurship, marketing, creative help. And I will see you next Friday for another itty bitty, tiny, little, teeny, tiny toot. See you there, gang.